Hello everybody, George Kenner. Yes, I'm a laser addict, but most of you that have followed me already know that. I'm gonna share with you today how to do some laser cutting. Now I'm sitting behind this desk and one of the reasons is this surface area is the approximate size of a steel sheet that you can put into a laser and cut and the laser would fit inside your garage. Hard to believe? I thought so too about 18 months ago when I saw it for the first time. I looked at it and I, with one of the salesmen from EMP, I cut this Pegasus. Look at the detail in that piece. Solid piece of steel, we walked over to a fiber laser and then we engraved it. I asked him how much the machine was and when it was going to be available. And Martin told me that it wasn't yet available, that if they were working on it, they wanted to make sure everything was good for the launch. Well, guess what? They're in the warehouse, meaning they're there. You can buy them. The EMP laser line is up and you can see the catalog and the prices for these at emplaser.com. Now, most of you know or may not know that Eon Laser is distributed by EMP. EMP is the parent company. Everyone knows of the leadership of Eon in the laser industry with their introduction of the Red Line and the Red Line Signature Series. They have some of the best CO2 lasers on the planet. Not only my opinion, but the opinion of the industry. It has a toolless mirror and lens removal system quick removal tubes. It comes with a glass tube and an RF tube, and that's on the Eon side. But we're gonna come back now, and we're gonna talk about some of the other projects that they're distributing under the EMP brand. Now, EMP has the laser cutters that I became fascinated with. Why I was back there doing a review recently or gathering the information to do a review, there was a world-renowned sculptor that has built 70-foot-long steel statues, and he was looking at the ability to cut with these machines instead of a plasma cutter. He was absolutely amazed at the technology. And this is somebody that commercially uses it. So what I'm getting to is I believe that Manufacturing is about to change. Lasers are going to be the go-to item to cut steel, brass, aluminum, all that type of thing. Now, this is an EMP sign that was cut out. The approximate time to do this was about probably a minute and a half. The cleanliness is just incredible. This is an aluminum piece. This is a piece of steel. Look at the thickness of that. It's almost as thick as my pen. The lasers are available at different strengths. So the strength would determine the speed of this cut, but each one of the lasers will cut this. I'm not gonna get too technical in these. If you had specific questions about a specific application, I would call EMP. I'm only here to share the information that I saw and maybe inspire you to look at getting the right tool for the job. If this would make you more time, save you more money, money being time, this is something that I think you'd be interested in. This was a number that was cut out of a sign. The cleanliness of this in um, approximately probably three and a half, four millimeter uh, stainless steel, just incredible. I saw the finished sign. It took maybe, I'm gonna say three minutes to cut the entire sign out. That was one of the things that Martin did with me. He took me to Etsy. He showed me a steel sign that had been cut out. It had two pegs welded onto it. And we did the math based upon the number of items that this company had sold. Now, the company's sales, according to Etsy, based upon the cost of the sign would have come to about 3.5 million. The price of one of these lasers would amaze you. 
it's below $70,000. At the EMP laser site, they actually post the prices of the machines. A long time ago, there was a famous world leader, not in the United States, and he said that what people should do is turn their house into a factory. It revolutionized this country. It's made them one of the largest chip manufacturers in the entire world. How do I know this? I am friends with a family member that shared this with me and the quote, reference, and proof of it. We have a manufacturing resurgence that's going on in the United States. We're going to bring more manufacturing back. Lasers are going to be an integral part, but the lasers are now a world manufactured piece. The case may come from China, the lead screws from Germany. The laser source on this machine was actually from a Swiss company. So trying to say that there is, that that is going to go away is probably just not feasible. EMP, they have both the cabinet and the flat table system are going to be in machine shops, garages, and artist studios more quickly than you'd think. EMP also provides UV lasers to engrave glass. This is something that I'm going to give away in my Facebook group. If you have any questions, general knowledge information that you want, you can come in and ask me there. It'll go in this box. It was printed by uh, 3D Bamboo Labs and it's gonna get, be given away. I say thank you to EMP for doing this and giving me the swag. It both promotes my Facebook site and the creator's marketplace. There's so many things that you can do with this. I'm gonna do a video on value of this and using it as a promotional item. These glasses are $1.25 a piece at the Dollar Tree store. There's probably about $6 worth of plastic in this. It costs $16 to get a click on LinkedIn. Would you rather send something like this? Would you rather make something like this? Some of the things that you can make with a fiber laser are just incredible. You could find a single use for one of these machines to justify purchasing it. it they are just amazing. It's something that even for general knowledge, go look at EMP Laser. They are an amazing company. They also lead the industry with what I'm gonna call rotary devices. They are not yet selling, but have introduced a digitally controlled rotary system that is called the touch. It'll spin this on a rotary axis so that it can be engraved. The time to engrave this was about two minutes. There are a million beer brewers, hobbyist beer brewers in the United States that probably love to have their special brew engraved on one of these and think if you put it in a box. There's a lot of money to be made in manufacturing. Are you interested in it? If so, come into the Facebook group, Laser Freedom, get started, do the basic research. I'll send you in the right direction if I can. Take care. Thank you.